after all the wait that I and the whole town have been waiting for, the mules are here. What an exciting story for the town to hear and see. Stay tuned, we're gonna have exclusive clips. We're gonna meet some of the members of the team, some of the mules as well, and experience a 20 mule team ride. As we begin to hitch off here, I have two special guests that I'd like to introduce. Mr. Stutzman, who is the owner of the farm who brought this mule operation to Maryland. Mr. Stutzman, how are you today? I am fine and I'm very excited about the 100th anniversary since the last time the famous 20 mule team and iconic wagons have been on the East Coast. And uh, we're delighted to have them here. The Teamster is Mr. Bobby Tanner from Bishop, California, who owns the mules with Mrs. Tanner. And this is Claudia Tanner, his wife. And uh, we're delighted to have you here from California to ride in this uh, event at the 4-H Park and in the Independence Day Parade on the 4th of July. Welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. And we are honored and very excited to be here. We are very grateful to our hosts. Uh, the Stutzmans, uh, and we are very, very thankful to all the sponsors that made this opportunity possible. We are very grateful, very excited to be in the east, at, here in the East Coast, and ready to go. Let's go, right? Home all to right. the 4-H Park we go. Great. We are all hitched up, and we are getting ready to head to the 4-H Park. <laughs> okay, mules. Come on, mules. So the mules have made it to the 4-H park and there's a crowd. my friends, Miss Megan, and I'm gonna ask her, what do you think about the mules? Um, I think this is pretty awesome. I mean, they're here in Queen Anne's County, and this is a once in a lifetime experience, so it's just crazy how they're here. Right, and so have you been up to see them or like touch them or? Not yet, but I'll assure you I will be. Not yet, but you're headed that way. So we've seen the mule side of it, so now we're on the wagon side of it, and I am here with the man himself, Mr. Dave and he built the wagons. Yes, ma'am. So tell us a little bit of facts about the wagons and, and kind of how you build them, I guess. Well, we started originally going to Death Valley itself. There's a set of old wagons down there, original wagons, and we took the measurements, took lots and lots of photographs, drew up the blueprints, and that was the infancy start of this whole process of uh, getting the blueprints drawn. Then Garen Sussman here had some white oak trees that had blown down. He offered those blocks to start the hubs, and we started turning hubs and building wagons. Very good, very good. And he was telling me bits and pieces about the um, the bolts that are in it. They were specifically made, or Garen was telling the inside story. <laughs> the inside story. The bolts that we use today are obviously from the day, from today and not from the 1880s. Yes. So we went through and we altered every carriage head 
lid, every bolt, every nut to make them look like they were from the 1880s. Very cool. So it's replica exactly just like they were. Yeah, that was the whole intent was to make these two wagons indistinguishable from the, orig from the original ones. And then when I walked up to the wagons, the thing that stands out the most are the tires, the, the wheels, I guess. The big wheels. They, they're like seven foot tall. They're really tall. Yep. Um, so that's kind of cool. And they're a piece of Queen Anne's County because I guess the they wood are. came from here. They are. They so, are. well, it was good to meet you and welcome okay. to Maryland. Well, thank and you. Uh, hope you come back. I guess we'll see you at some point, but 100 years maybe. If <laughs> well, it probably won't be me. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so as we conclude this special episode of the 20 Mule Team in Queen Anne's County, I'm here to end this episode and say happy trails and thanks for tuning in. I got to go. My ride's here.